welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, <coughs> David Beer Dad. And today we're going to look at a Yeasty Boys beer. Uh, it is the uh, Yeasty Boys Gunamata Ale Grey IPA. This weighs in at a hefty 6.5%. It says so right there. Uh, best before the 24th of December 2018. It says so right there, along with tubular swells. Why is it with beer? beer? Beer companies put a little slang and slogans at the bottom of their beer. Brew Dog do it, Cloud Water do it, uh, these guys clearly do it. Is it needed? Mm. Anyway, not had this beer before, there's not much blame on the back. It says boldly floral, much like your granny's bedroom with stone fruit and citrus notes and a big long dry finish. Um, the usual stuff will go on the end here, there'll be a link to the website or Black Caper. Go on, anyway, let's crack on. Let's see what we get. I bought this ages ago. In uh, boots in Preston, say years ago, must be at least a month ago. And I put it off and put off and put off doing it. Um, I don't know why, but I just didn't fancy it at the time. Right, I think I hear that fizzing away already, just from here. Right, so, beer in glass then, we've got a very cloudy orange. Beverage, figure a little bit of very white head, small, medium, well tiny and small bubbles. So looks looks okay, so like a decent beer. Let's give it a sniff and see what we get. Ooh, it's very floral. There's flowers there, there's a little bit of lemon as well. Um it's not potpourri, um, but it's that type of thing. Dried dried flowers and a little bit of citrus. So yeah, it's like <laughs> like Granny's house, as it says in the can. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Carbonation is quite good, but it's quite light. Um, Body-wise, it feels like a medium body, but it isn't. It's, it, it, it's light, but when you get it initially on your palate, it feels heavy, which is interesting. Taste wise, give it another go. Cheers. There's lemon there, um, there's happy citrus notes there, but it's flowers, it's fair, it is floral. Um, it's, it's hard to, it's not hard to describe. Um, when you walk through a, a garden in a park, if I was mistaken, it's a sunny day and you can smell the petals. Petally, it's grassy. It's potpourri, but not offensively potpourri, because the lemon offsets the flowers. There's a nice little finish. There's a touch of Touch of peach there as well, apricot. There's a nice, nice finish, nice little dry, subtle dryness, which is quite good. Overarching taste of it, and aroma, it's floral. But petunias, petunias mainly, potpourri, certainly. Do I like it? I don't know. Strength wise it works for me. It's an IPA, it's got an unusual, not offensive taste. Joey's out of this one I think. Would I buy it again? Not yet, that's how I think about it. Would I recommend it to friends? No, probably not. <sighs> Nah, don't like it. <coughs> so, Yeasty Boys, Gutter Matter, uh, Ale Grey IPA. It tastes like Ale Grey. It does taste like an Ale Grey cup of tea. <coughs> Excuse me. I, if you've had the beer, let me know what you think. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give you a thumbs down. But either way, let me know. Alright, um, so if you had that, let me know what you think. 
I'll, uh, I'll try and come back to you as best I can. But Yeasty Boy's got a bat right. The Earl Grey APA, 6.5. Not for me, I don't think. Anyway, good to be a cycle. Cans are infinitely better. See you in the next one. Hey, Leo.